Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the most addictive fragrances I have in my collection. These are juicy, they're sweet, some are super dense, some are watery, but these are fragrances that I'm constantly reaching for in the summer. It feels like it's summer in California already, but it's not. Uh, but summer is coming. It is still spring and other parts of the world uh, summer's already here so we kind of alternate hopefully you're looking at certain videos at the right time uh, that cater to your weather be it a continent or a country y'all so um please continue to like follow you know me on instagram subscribe over here if you have not already click on those notification bells so every time i do upload a video you can be the very first one to watch, give me your comment, feedback, all that good stuff, and any recommendations you have. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna get into some of my favorite fragrances that I love reaching for, for summer. And like I said, a lot of them are juicy, um, they're exuberant, and they just make you feel, you know, very vibrant, you know? So y'all, let's get into some of my favorites. Yes, these are all unisex, but most are feminine leaning. Um, and the very first house we're gonna start with, they actually have three fragrances. And I was gonna do a separate video, but I was like, no, I'm gonna include it in my um, top summer addictive fragrance uh, picks. So the very first one we're gonna start with is Dahab. And this is by the House of Lamar. I usually only wear this fragrance in the spring and the summer. I reached for it once this year uh, for the spring. Uh, I think about a month ago or about three weeks ago, I wore this fragrance, but I only wore it around the house. Uh, but this fragrance, you can wear out everywhere. You can wear it to a party a day party, an event, a night event. Um, this fragrance is heavy enough even to flow over into the fall, but we're not gonna talk about that because we are only in the spring, y'all, okay? So anyway, um, Daha, the, the bottles are gorgeous by Lamar, you know, by the way. Um, Daha, I don't know if you knew, but the two like known perfumers is Rosendo Mato, he had his hand in the hop, and Christian Carbonell. I never knew it. Um, I thought Rosendo Mato pretty much like dealt with his own line, but he did the hop. He was one of the perfumers um, that made the hop. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, those are little fun facts. So anyway, oh, this the hop is so good. And I remember giving um, a couple of my coworkers, like a small decant of this a couple years ago, um, and they loved it. I think one purchased the bottle of Dahab and the other one purchased Lamar. Um, so anyway, Dahab, you have your Granny Smith apples, you have some passion fruit, bergamot, you have some woody notes, some other fruity notes, and some musk. This is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Even though it has the Granny Smith apples, it's not too sharp on the, you know, green apples. But it's really smooth. You get a lot of that passion fruit. You get that watery apple scent. You get that musky scent, but it's not too musky. Not as musky as Almaz, which is the next one we're going to be talking about. But this one's definitely unisex and an amazing fruity, musky, slightly woody passion fruit fragrance. Apple passion fruit fragrance for the summer. Uh, get your nose on it. And this is Dahab. And the bottles are gorgeous, y'all. I like those little um like stars or I don't I think it it's supposed to mimic like a temple or something. So gorgeous fragrance. So the next one we're gonna talk about is one that I purchased last year. I think this came out last summer. Um, and this is Almaz. We all know that this is a heavy black currant, brown sugar, raspberry fragrance, musky, absolutely amazing. And yes, you can wear this in the summer. The bottle is gorgeous as well. You can actually see through this one. I think the bottle's green, the glass is green, and the outside silver, but very gaudy but beautiful bottle. Um, in here, like I said, you have your black currant. You get a lot of that rich Calabrian bergamot. Um, you get some Turkish rose in here, which I really don't get. Um, a rose scent. I really basically get like a lot of rich, thick, dense fruits in this fragrance. You know what? Maybe a little bit of rose, just a little bit of rose, but it's pretty much drowned out by the heavy fruits in the fragrance. Um, you get that raspberry or some brown sugar, but you definitely get rich raspberry, black currant. It's thick and it's heavy. And like I told you guys, this also reminds me of 
uh, mango nificent because I get that black currant and that raspberry and that patchouli and mango nificent and it gives me a similar nuance of Almaz. It's not exact, no, but they both have rose in there as well. I think they both have Calabria and bergamot. Um, they have some red berries and uh, mango nificent, but Almaz is stunning and I love it. A lot of people say it's too sweet and cloying. If you wear this in like 100 degree heat, it might be a little cloying, but just spray less, y'all, okay? Um, on the day, on a night, summer night, maybe you want to spray a little heavier, but I love this fragrance. Get your nose on it. And these are super affordable. You can find them on the Ray Market at like Max Aroma. Um, I'm not sure about Fragrance Buy, but at Max Aroma, you can probably find these for about $120, $140, you know, if you get them on sale. Um, so the next one we have is my very first Kajal that I've been working with for a long time, y'all. And I love it. I remember I took such an amateur picture like three years ago of this outside and I took a picture of it like sitting on a piece of brick. <laughs> it was cute though. And I think I did put like a pineapple with it or something. So anyway, this is a beautiful pineapple rose fragrance. Gorgeous bottle. A lot of people didn't like the gaudy bottles, but I absolutely love the gold. Okay, it looks like a mosque, not a temple, a mosque. Um, this bottle definitely looks like a moss, but beautiful, beautiful, stunning bottles. Um, so in Lamar, you have your rose, you have pineapple, like I said, uh, red berries, apple, there's cardamom in here, there's cedar, there's jasmine, there's musk. But literally what you get from this fragrance is pineapple, musky pineapple rose, woody musky pineapple rose with a slight sweetness of some so fresh it's absolutely fresh it smells like the juicy watery pineapple and the rose you get a little bit of greenness in here this is an absolutely stunning fragrance you guys uh, i know we need to put these back on the map a lot of people are not talking about them as much as they did you know three years ago well just in general uh but lamar kajal almas they're all stunning fragrances and then i have some samples of some other ones um as well and um, I think those were a little masculine for me, but I love them either way. The whole house, the entire house is absolutely amazing. And hopefully they'll be coming out with another fruity fragrance soon. All right, so the next one we're going to go to is um, no other than the House of Kayali. And this is such a compliment getter. I wear this to work and I get lots of compliments. Um, by no means is it amateur or juvenile. It's very fun. It's very flirty. It's very juicy. And uh, it's amazing for the summer. So this is Kayali Eden Juicy Apple 01. Okay, first try, got it right. Okay, so in Eden Juicy Apple 01, you have your lychee, you have some red apple, black currant, um, you have raspberry rose, you have some uh, sugar, um, you have some musk and some woody notes. Um, it's a very fun, juicy, beautiful, you know pretty musky fragrance I get the red berries I get the red apple you know you get a lot of red berries in here raspberry that red apple it's juicy it's slightly musky somebody I mean you guys used to say this smell like a body spray and I was like absolutely not um well you know I don't wear body sprays I actually just ordered some lush body sprays and I'll do a review on those I ordered four um I always hear Abby with love talking about these body sprays and um, someone else mentioned, oh, my girl, Farida, she bought Rose Jam. She told me it smelled like Ardent. So I was like, oh, let me get Rose Jam if she's saying it smells like Ardent. And I could just, you know, wear that too and then just spray a little bit of my Ardent on it, you know, save some of the Ardent and not as much. But I really want to smell what smells like Ardent, which is one of my favorite rose fragrances. So anyway... Um, so you guys are saying it smell like a body spray. I disagree, completely disagreed. So um, even when I did the review, uh, PR or not, okay? So it's juicy. Yes, it's a little more dense and concentrated. It sat for over, what, like a year and a half. This came out two years, about a year and a half, I think this came out. Um, and it's absolutely amazing, but it's definitely fruity, fun, flirty. And you know, you can wear this anywhere on a day out, running errands, looking pretty pretty when you just want to smell sweet y'all okay so the next one we're going to talk about is um mula mula okay mula mula is one of my fruitiest fun sexiest fragrances in my collection if you can see the bottle the the glare but absolutely love this bottle of mula mula so there's like a bowl of just lush stewed fruits 
Um, it's rich, but definitely still amazing for the summer because it's so fruity. So in Mula Mula, you have your peach, strawberry, raspberry. You have some ginger in here. You have some caramel. You have some woody notes. You have some musk. Um, most of these fragrances are literally given like the same thing, y'all. It's gorgeous. It's a sophisticated fruity fragrance with a zing of that um, ginger inside. And I absolutely love it, you guys. Get your nose on it. Mula Mula by the House of Byron. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. I have Mula Mula Rouge um, and the Chronic Rouge, but those are a little more geared uh, for the fall, maybe the spring, fall, and not necessarily for the summer. I mean, you could wear it in the summer, but the Chronic I would stick to uh, maybe the fall because it's a little warm, spicy, oody. Um, and with a cinnamon inside too, which makes it a little more cozy. So, um, the next one we're going to talk about is one by the house of, um, Manogerakinis. And I purchased this one over in Greece, but you can purchase it from the site. This is, I think this is literally like my favorite. I have two actually, but no, this is my favorite peony fragrance. Manogerakinis, this red apple in here. There's musk in here. There's peony in here. There's rose in here, y'all. Um, there's also jasmine. There's carnation and there's suede. Um, this fragrance is so addicting and so beautiful. It's bridal scent worthy. It's summer worthy. It's date night worthy. It's, it's just juicy. And you get all of that peony and that apple, you know, um, you get a little bit of that suede to make it a little smooth and silky. But y'all, this is the this is the brightest apple fragrance I actually have in my collection. So if you want a good red apple scent, then you need to try um, Pivon. I think it's pronounced Pivone or Pivon, Pivon by Manogetakinis. My other Pivon, which is by the House of Armani Privé, that line, it doesn't have any like fruit, real fruity notes inside. But this one, the red apple in here is my most potent apple fragrance in my entire collection. More potent than, um, it's on the same, but you get more of that vanilla uh, La Danza. You get apple in there, uh, but this one, you get a juicy red apple, y'all. It's, it's like the, you know, the apple that the witch tried to give the little kids in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, because she knew it would smell like extremely amazing to poison them, okay? Was that Hansel and Gretel? Or maybe that was Sleeping Beauty. Then who got the apple? Hansel and Gretel or Sleeping Beauty? I think Hansel and Gretel, they got pies, right? Pies and cakes and Sleeping Beauty, she bit the apple. And so did Eve, okay? <laughs> but y'all, Pivon by the house of Manogerakinis. Get your nose on it. When Farida sprayed this on in Greece, she left a scent trail that was intoxicating. And I smelled her as the wind blew um, down Santorini that we were walking. I did a U-turn. I went right back and got the last bottle of this fragrance. So like I said, juicy on the apple and the peony, the rose, slight suede to make it a little smooth and silky, carnation. Y'all, this is one of the juiciest fragrance, best apple fragrance I have in my entire collection. Get your nose on it. This one needs no introduction. Malibu by Simone Andrioli. Y'all know this is a whatever, man eater, woman eater, whatever you want to call it. A compliment getter. Amazing for the summer. Boozy rum, lime, just amazing sugar. You know, mm. juicy. You get that sugar. You get that lime. It's like a lime, a lime like a lime mojito with sugar around the rim, y'all. It's absolutely stunning. You must get this in your fragrance collection for the summer. Malibu by Simone Andrioli. It's a must, y'all. An absolute must. An absolute must. Um, so the next one we're going to talk about is Delina La Rose. And yes, we have a juicy floral for the summer. There's lots of fruits in this fragrance as well. Um, hence the den. I wear this a lot. I wear this a lot to work. And I get a lot of compliments on this fragrance. And uh, this was actually my... Second Delina, I bought the original Delina, which is my number one, my top, because um, I love the rhubarb in there. Then I bought La Rose, and then I got the exclusive last. That is like the third, number three for me, because that powderiness in there, um, I have to really understand or, or 
understand where I'm going when I spray that fragrance because it can be a little overbearing uh, and a little cloying, but I love it all the same. It's amazing. Uh, but this one, Delina La Rose is stunning for the summer, y'all. Um, so in here, you have your lychee pear, Turkish rose. Um, you have some peony. You have some watery nose. Um, it's very aquatic. It's a little ozonic, but you get that fruitiness. It's like a bowl of watery fruits and like a ton of peonies. It's beautiful. It's long lasting. It lasts me 12 hours on my clothes, about eight hours on my skin. Um, yeah, so compliment getting. I love wearing this in the summer. Um, and yeah, a, a pretty decent dent in this fragrance. Love it, love it. Ladies, if you like feminine fragrance, feminine leaning fragrances, love it. It's just watery. It's mouth watery and so compliment getting. All right, so the next one we have is uh, Elangin Gold. Let me shake my bottle up, okay? Um, oh, bubbles too, y'all. So my juice has gotten fairly dark. Once this settles, the juice is almost brown. Um, this is gonna be in another review that's coming up, y'all. I do love this banana-esque type fragrance with the Elang in there. Um, it's really... It smells of gold. It smells of luxury, you guys. Um, in here, you have your peaches, lychee, tangerine. You get that coconutty vibe in here as well. Um, there's fruity notes. There's magnolia. There's a ton of stuff in here. There's musk. There's vanilla in here. It's beautiful. It smells really creamy and, you know, um, very creamy and fluffy at the same time. Not fluffy. It smells really creamy and satiny, you know? But it's beautiful, amazing for a great vacation. You know, especially when you wanna have a beautiful glow, you just spray this all over your arms. Um, you could spray this about 12 times, actually just layer it everywhere. Um, and you get that little bit of a sparkle with that coconut-esque, banana-esque type uh, vibe, you guys. Anyway, it's such an amazing fragrance, feminine leaning. Um, this lasts about eight hours that I can remember because I, ha I haven't worn this in about a year. Uh, but y'all, it's beautiful. Elang and Gold. I've had my bottle for, so this is like the original bottle. I do love that white bottle though, and I contemplate in buying it, but it doesn't make sense. Um, uh, my juice is really dark. You really get that vanilla in here, that coconut, that Elang in here is not super bright, but it's all the other notes in the fragrance kind of like, um, uh, makes the elong not so bright and in your face if you don't like that note. But yeah, I love it. A very beautiful tropical fragrance. Amazing for the summer, you guys. So the next one we have is Mandarin Basilic. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do. I have a lot of these fragrances from Aqua Allegoria. I have Pamplaloon, which I absolutely love for the summer as well. That's like a grapefruit. Um, I have Tesora. I have Coconut Fizz. I have, um, I think I have like two or three more. Yeah, ginger something, and there's several more, but I may need to do, let me know if you want me to do a review on all of my Aqua Allegorias. I think I might have eight of them down in the comments, you guys. Uh, anyway, Mandarin Basilic, Sebastian told us years ago, well, he told me years ago, I don't know if you were watching his review, but about three years ago, Sebastian told us that this was a dupe for after afternoon swim. So I smelled afternoon swim, and yes, it smells just like Mandarin Basilic. Actually, Mandarin Basilic gives you a little more Mandarin because it's in the top, it's in the heart. You have a little bit of that basil to give you a little bit, a little bit of freshness. Not really earthiness, but very fresh, slightly green. Uh, but it's not like a heavy basil to where it makes it smell herbaceous, you know. But I love wearing this. This is beast mode on me. I remember years ago, Veronica and I, uh, we got this fragrance, and we absolutely loved it. And um, yeah, Mandarin Basilic, a dupe for afternoon swim. Get your nose on it. Y'all, it's stunning. It's juicy. It's amazing. It's a lot of juicy Mandarin. And I think there's Clementine in here as well, you guys. It's like you're squeezing a fresh orange with all the zest all over your body. It's gorgeous. Uh, I have a designer, okay? Um, so this is one of my favorite designer fragrances that I purchased last summer. And this is Burberry Her, the EDT. And when I tell you it's juicy, it's juicy. There's strawberry in here and you get that. You get that really juicy, super overripe and sweet pear in here. Um, you get some musky notes. You get some woodiness in this fragrance. But literally, you get some rose in here. 
It's not too rosy or floral. Literally, you get pear and strawberries with some floral notes in the background. I got so many compliments. I passed out the name on this fragrance multiple times. Um, I really feel like I need another bottle. I'm halfway through it and I love it. Um, yeah, I hope they don't ever discontinue this one because I think this one and this, I've had the other Burberry, the Burberry EDP. Um, I had the the other one that was the elixir. I have the elixir. I like the elixir, but they have the Burberry EDP and the Intense. I didn't like I didn't like either one of those uh, because it smelled too much like you all know Baccarat Rouge 540. But it gave me I don't know something in that fragrance that wasn't like it didn't like it didn't warm my heart. Okay, basically. So, but this one I sprayed it on and I was like, oh. This is so, so good, y'all. Burberry EDT, get your nose on it. Fruity, juicy, juicy, and amazing. All right, some fragrances I do want to mention if you can find them. I didn't want to put these up in the forefront, so that was 10. But I did want to mention if you can find Herba Pura. I don't know if you can find it, if it's still at Selfridges. Um, I think Suspiro is coming out with, I mean, not Herba Pura, Herba Gold. I think Suspiro is coming out with a version of Herba Gold. So, y'all, yeah, check into that. But this fragrance is is an end-all, be-all for the summer and a must-have. Um, another fragrance, you know, honorable mentions, you guys. Um, Dolce and Gabbana Pineapple. I love wearing this fragrance for the summer. Discontinue, but you may be able to find it in some places. An amazing, airy, slightly woody pineapple unisex fragrance for the summer. Very juicy. I love it. I think there's a tobacco note in here, white tobacco, but I love it. It's very fresh, airy, and um, non-offensive tobacco for the summer. Um, the other one, of course, I just had in a review, so I don't want to mention it again, but it is a must, must have, absolutely must have for the summer, Mango Skin, y'all. Y'all know this is one of the juiciest fragrances in my collection, y'all. Most of these fragrances are super juicy. Mango Skin, get your nose on it. Um, the next one is, of course, the one you all absolutely love. And this is a uh, Simone, not Simone. This is Stefan Humbert Lucas, God of Fire. Y'all always know I mentioned the, mentioned the dapper version. But yes, this baby is beautiful as well. A mango fragrance as well that I just did a review on. So I didn't want to talk about it too much. But yes, boozy, oody, fresh, citrusy. Um, that wasn't an ugly citrusy. That was just like citrusy because it's like, you know in your neck, okay? So anyway, so um, I keep wanting to call it Simone Andreelli, Stephane Humbert Lucas, beautiful fragrance if you like a very tart mango, boozy tart oody mango for the summer. Um, last but not least is one that I wanna mention and I absolutely love. This is by the House of Aromas de Salazar. You guys need to go look him up and you need to get this fragrance, okay? So it's an indie house, so he when i tell you he's so intricate and detailed on his fragrance he is so this is cafe fiesta even if you don't like coffee go get the fragrance okay so in cafe fiesta you have your pineapple green mandarin bergamot you have some hedion in here um i have about 20 of his fragrances i think i have three full bottles and the rest are like 10 ml so I, at least like 15 or 20. um i do have a review that I did because he was the finalist in the upcoming perfumers in Scent Explore last year, December, 2022, December. He was up against Aaron Terrence Hughes and another perfumer. Aaron Terrence Hughes came in first, he was second, and then the other lady. But y'all, you need to figure out who Aromas de Salazar is. He has 10 ml travel sizes and you need to order those. But some of my favorites is um, Cafe Oud, uh, Ca it's the Cafe, Choco, Choco Oud, um, uh, Blueberry Morning with the amazing saffron. Blueberry Morning, if you like saffron, y'all. Um, in here is Pineapple Green Mandarin, Bergamot, Hedion, Rose Absolute from Morocco, Italian Coffee Extract, Vanilla Bean, Benzoin, Isoe Super, and Ho Wood, okay? So this is how it comes. The bottle, love this. Cafe Fiesta literally smell like I went to the Pineapple Plate pineapple plantation in Hawaii and I had a latte. So I dumped the pineapple Dole Whip inside of a, like a latte coffee, but the coffee's not heavy. The coffee's very watery. It's extract. The coffee's very watery. Um, it's, um, it's very smooth. It's creamy with that Dole Whip pineapple in here. Y'all, this is, this fragrance is everything. So, 
it's everything it's the pineapple in here is gorgeous and you get a little bit of greenness to as well so get your nose cafe fiesta i'm talking to y'all okay get your nose go over to aromas de salazar on instagram i will link everything down below cafe fiesta amazing fragrance for the summer beautiful beautiful unisex adult okay not vintage adult sexy pineapple fragrance for the summer y'all you and your man could share this um the pineapple in here is sweet plus you get a little bit of that, bit of that pineapple rind as well you know or pineapple skin but y'all it's beautiful anyway cafe fiesta get your nose on it i want to see you guys get this fragrance you will not be disappointed if you don't like the fragrance I will buy it from you, okay? Um, anyway, gone to the world, spend amazing, see how she do good, be good. The most addictive summer fragrances. You've seen it right here, y'all. Get your nose on them. All right, bye-bye.